Hello. What's up, friends? It's Monday. Monday. And now I was doing all okay until I'm like, of course, I did not bother to do much with myself today, but I'm sitting here like at the video and I see like this little awkward bump right here. Yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm going to do right now. Hey, y'all. Hope y'all are doing great. It's Monday, January 14th. 14th. Hope y'all are doing great. Hope you had a good weekend. What did we do this weekend? Um, we didn't do much this weekend. The husband watched football because I hear like the Super Bowl is coming up or something like that. Anyway, um, he watched football. I did tons and tons and tons of planning for Martinis Amanda. I got a lot of stuff done. Unfortunately, there's still a huge, huge, huge to-do list. But um, it's only because I got like all these crazy, insane ideas floating around my head. So you know I've got two billion to-do lists going on. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I got a lot of planning done. Let's see. The weather here is great. It's like close to 50, like 47, 48, 49 degrees. Super awesome. It's almost spring-like, sadly. We got snow coming this week, end of the week. Um, the high today, like I said, is near 50. On Friday, we're looking at like the high of 24, something like that. Yeah, ew. Yeah, but as long as it's not as bad as last winter, I'm okay. And so far, we are doing great. Um, I am finally caught up after the holidays. We've got all of our Christmas stuff down. We have done all the grocery shopping. We've gotten back into our routine, paid all the bills. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little advice. If you take a vacation, do it in the middle of the month. You know, at the beginning of the month, rent or mortgage is due. And if you're like us, all of our other bills are due at the same time. Which means that when we went on vacation a few weeks ago, the husband, we were paid, you know, that Friday, we flew out the next day. The entire week and a half we were gone, we were waiting for a paycheck because we just paid all our bills. So yeah. So word of advice, if you go on vacation, do it in the middle of the month when all your bills are not due. <laughs> yeah, adulting. Yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Gotta do it. But yeah, we're finally caught up after the holidays. Um, trying to think what else is going on. He is um, nothing much. It's nice and quiet, which is how you want your, you know, start of your year to go. So anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Glad you guys are here. If you are here joining me, um, got a yummy night ahead of us. If you love hot chocolates, I have got a couple of recipes that look awesome. Got a hot chocolate martini. And then some hot chocolate popcorn. That sounds really good. I found the recipe online. Have not tried it out, so we'll see how it goes. But we'll see how it goes. Um, first up, the hot chocolate martini. This recipe that we do for the popcorn is probably gonna be like super quick, so it's not gonna last long at all. So anyway, um, the martini, hot chocolate martini. You need dark cream de cacao. Cream de cacao. You need vanilla vodka. You need Kahlua. And then you need some prepared hot chocolate. Um, so go ahead and prepare it and let it cool. I prepared this about a half hour ago or so. So hopefully, you know, it's cooled. It is, yeah, it's cooled by now. And then of course, you shake it with ice. So let's try this out. First, let me go ahead, since I just stirred this, let me do this first. The hot chocolate martini, you're gonna need three parts of prepared and cooled hot chocolate, which I guess you just need three parts of chocolate, liquid chocolate, because I mean, it's not, you can't really call it hot chocolate if it's not hot anymore, right? Yeah. For your cream de cacao, you need three fourths part. That was a little bit more. Then you need 
one part of Kahlua. Kahlua is a coffee flavor. If you are not, I'm looking because I rarely use Kahlua. So it feels light. I should probably buy some soon. <laughs> and then you need um, three fourths part vanilla vodka. And I mean, come on, what's not to like you know about this? You got, like I said, three parts prepared and cooled hot cocoa, three fourths part vanilla vodka, and cream, dark cream to cacao, and then one part of Kahlua. Let's see how this goes. I mean, again, like I said, what is not. I'm just splashing this mess all over the place. Anyway, let's test this out, see how this is. Again, I invite you guys, if you have um, any awesome martini recipes, send them my way. I want to hear them. I want to try some new ones out. That's pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. I'd probably do a little bit less of the Kahlua if you're not a fan of coffee. But this is pretty darn good. Yep. Love it. If you are joining me, please say hello. I always send you here. Um, I am actually trying because I got rid of the plain, the regular Facebook app, and I went down to the Facebook Lite because I have 32G on my phone and the regular Facebook app was taking up the majority of that. I was sitting on like 30.5 out of 32G on my phone, deleted the Facebook app and I went down to like 16. Downloaded the Facebook Lite app, which I cannot go live from, but I was able to download the Facebook Pages app. And I'm going live from that. So hopefully this is coming across the way it's supposed to. But um, downloading those two apps and getting rid of the other one, I'm only sitting at like 19G out of 32. I don't, yeah. I don't know why Facebook wants to consume that much space, but they did. All right. Tonight's recipe, super simple. It's probably not going to take this long at all. Um is hot chocolate popcorn it's a you know hot chocolate winter staple i love it i am not a fan of hot drinks i will always choose an ice drink over a hot drink if i can but i do love some hot chocolate and my absolute favorite hot chocolate is swiss misses dark chocolate was it sensation yep my absolute favorite and guess what you can't buy it but like one place here in billings i can find it all over the place in alabama can't find it much of anywhere here crazy so anyways when i refer to hot chocolate here in a bit i'm using the dark chocolate kind you can use regular hot chocolate you know hot chocolate either way you're gonna need i'm gonna go ahead and run through the ingredients because I know I have a tendency to forget about it later. You're gonna need 12 cups of popcorn. You can pop it yourself over the stove. You can take some, you know, bagged popcorn, whatever. You need 12 cups of popped popcorn. You need 10 ounces of the white chocolate candy melts or almond bark. I buy the packages of almond bark. They come in these little bricks. These are two ounces a piece. So I've got five bricks in there because you need 10 ounces of white chocolate. So 12 cups of 10 ounces, or 12 cups of popped popcorn, 10 ounces of white chocolate candy melts or almond bark, one third cup hot chocolate mix, one half cup chocolate chips, and one and a half cups of mini marshmallows. There's your ingredients. Super simple, super quick. Okay, so I already have my 12 cups of popcorn there, and I'm going to sit here and talk because what we have to do is melt this goodness right here. 
Now, when you are doing, um, when you are doing, you know, when you're melting almond bark or candy melts, what you want to do is you just want to um, stick it in there. Start with a minute at first. Take it out, stir it up, and then um, you're probably going to, only going to need to do like 20, 30 second increments after that because it melts pretty quickly and you don't want to burn it. So, when you're melting it, keep an eye on it and um, I promise you it's not going to take long. And what I've noticed is that almond bark melts super quickly. So, um, definitely keep an eye on it. And when you stir it up and you can break it up more, it melts even quicker. So, let's check this out. Yep, it's still, give it a second. So, when you are melting chocolate, you can certainly do it on a double boiler, you know, get you a pot of water, stick a bowl on top of it with your um, candy melts or chocolate in it, and then um, turn it on and the steam, the water, the heat from what's boiling will melt the chocolate. To me, a whole lot easier to do it this way. You just have to make sure you keep an eye on it because it does melt super quickly. Like I said, 10 ounces of chocolate. I make lemon bark um, in December for the husband's staff and it literally took me, it literally took me like 10 minutes from start to finish to do it. Not even, probably not even that long. So um, you just make sure you keep an eye on it because it will burn quickly. And the last thing you want is burned chocolate. That's just like blasphemy blasphemy or whatever you know yep so um once it has started melting like it was starting to melt there it's not going to take long for it to finish and all you want to do is make sure that you can completely stir it i do need to do it for another couple of seconds but for the most part it's ready. I just want to make sure it's completely melted before I mix it into my 12 cups of popcorn. And um, like I said, it's a super quick, super simple recipe. Um, I've not tried it before, so we'll see how it goes. Y'all know how this is. This could end up being, you know, like a huge mess. Make sure you Stir it up really well. Make sure it's all melted so you don't end up, I mean, there's really no harm with chocolate chunks. I mean, <laughs> there's really no harm. So anyway, you're going to make sure that it is completely melted. Then you're going to take your 12 cups of popcorn. And what I'm going to suggest is you probably put half in and start stirring it up. And this is one of those things that's probably going to get really messy. This is one of those recipes also that's really good for um, kids to do. Just mix some of it up and then pour the rest and you're drizzling it in. And just side note, I'm sitting here showing you the bottom of the bowl. Um, there was some talk show a long time ago that I watched. One of the TV rules during cooking shows is they're not supposed to show you the bottom of the bowl. They're supposed to do it like to the side, that way so you can see the contents going in. Because guess what? That's not attractive. But that right there, I'm guessing is a bit more attractive. So, um, weird random TV fact there. All right, so mix in all that chocolate, coat as much of, you, of it as you can with the white chocolate. That's all you're doing. It's basically like a chocolate drizzle. But you just want to mix in as much of it as you can. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take that hot chocolate mix. How much did I say? I said one third cup of whatever hot chocolate mix you want to use. My favorite is that dark chocolate sensation. <laughs> From um, Swiss Miss. You're going to... Sprinkle, sub it over, and again, this is all about making sure it's all um, coated. I love popcorn. 
In fact, <laughs> it's not a meal. It's not a meal at all, but I like to um, pretend like it's a meal and I will um, have it. Meal of the afternoon, dinner, whatever. And say it's a meal. I like to have a couple of bags of popcorn, a nice large cup of cherry Coke or Pepsi with the vanilla vodka, and I am good and happy. Hey, right, so make sure it's as coated as you can possibly get it. Then you're going to add in your chocolate chips. How much did you need? One half cup chocolate chips. You can do small, large. I would imagine that you could also do um, white chocolate. You could do peppermint. However you like your um, hot chocolate. I mean, I like peppermint and hot chocolate. So mix in some peppermint chips. I would imagine it'd be really, really good. Mix that in really well. And of course, hot chocolate requires one essential ingredient one ingredient if you're doing hot chocolate it requires marshmallows so then you're going to add in your marshmallows i'm well i should just throw the rest in like i said again it's best for you to do half and half that way so you can mix it in and incorporate really well and then put the rest in just like that Super awesome. Think about all the things that you can do with your hot chocolate. If you like um, spiking your hot chocolate with like maybe Bailey's Irish cream, maybe you could mix in some um, Irish cream with, after you melt, melt your chocolate first, because if you heat up alcohol, it tends to burn off the alcohol content. Doesn't really matter for this kind of recipe, but if you um, melt your chocolate and then mix in some like Irish cream and then mix it into your popcorn, I bet you that would be like super yummy and awesome. So again, make sure it's all incorporated really well and then just, that's about it. That's about it. Now, it, the recipe that I have does say, oh, I just threw some popcorn on the floor. The dog is going to love that. Um, the recipe just says just to leave it to allow it to harden. I am going to, um, I probably should have gotten some more parchment. Yep. I'm gonna spread it out. They said that if you want it to um, be more clump, if you want it to be like in larger clumps, add more chocolate. So with the almond bark, if you were to, um, instead of 10 ounces, do 14 ounces you're gonna end up with more clumps as opposed to like individual pieces allow it to um harden it's already for the most part done but it's kind of like a trail mix super yummy looking though isn't it like i said super simple recipe takes no time if you're hosting a party and you want to take something a bit different, this is a great idea. And my favorite thing about doing recipes on Martinez Amanda's on Monday nights is I get to enjoy the final product. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. So I'm gonna let that harden. It's not gonna take long. It's not gonna take long at all. So um, I'm gonna let that harden and in about probably 20 minutes or so, I'm going to delve in. I'm going to go ahead and try some now. Yep. That's good. Dark chocolate was the way to go. Even if you don't like, even if you prefer milk chocolate over dark chocolate, dark's probably the way to go because it's just got a little bit more of a flavor. I would imagine doing milk chocolate, it would have um, been a little bit more blander. Either way, it's super yummy. 
Yep. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. It's great. All right. So, like I said, we still have 10 more minutes. We can chat about whatever you want. What's up with y'all? Hey. Um, anyway. If you have not yet, go and like the Martinez Amanda Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest page. Do me a favor and like those. If you have a friend you think would be interested in any of those, recommend me, please. Send me your ideas. If you're on Pinterest, you can send me the pins that you find that might look like a good Monday Night Facebook Live or um, just something I should try out. Let me know. Um, if you see any Pinterest fails, this would be fun actually. If you see any Pinterest fails, send me those ideas and I can see if I can unfail it. Is that a possibility? If I can make it work, if I can unfail it, even if it fails, it's still funny. Either way, um, make sure on the Facebook page you have liked the page or following the page and you have gone into notifications and clicked you can go to notifications and there's a little drop down menu that says um get notifications when marcy Zumana goes live make sure you click that that way so when i go live you're reminded that hey man just talking i should go check her out so with all that next week next week is january what 21st how are we like breezing through January already? Next G um, Monday, I've got a wreath, kind of. I've got like 10 different ideas for the wreath I want to do next Monday. I'm not certain the one I have chosen is going to work out, but I'm going to go with it because once you've made a decision, you got to just go through it so um next week next monday hopefully you'll join me we're going to do a melted snowman martini and we're going to try out a quick quick winter wreath i love wreaths i love making them but a lot of times they just don't work out in my favor so next monday we're going to try a quick winter wreath and melted snowman martinis so until then, send me your ideas, go on like all my pages, and help me out. I love y'all tremendously. Hope you're having a great start to your week, and I'll see y'all next Monday. Bye.